Hey, um, so I'm Ravoy. I'm gonna play the um, Celeste Any Percent uh, run for BSG Annual. I'm really pleased to be here. So um, the incentive, the first one was to name the file, and I think that's uh, Kawi. Yeah, that is indeed correct. The file name incentive was won by Kawi. That is C O W W Y. Okay. I got it. <laughs> so, countdown. Two, one, go. So, um, we are skipping all the cutscenes because it's a speed game, and yeah, we don't want cutscene. Um, so, we are in the prologue. Uh, I'm having problem with my. Doesn't work. Um, my keyboard is wrong. <laughs> uh, ah, okay. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, um, it's a prologue, and we get to know our main mechanics. It's um, jumping, as I'm jumping right now, because it's uh, faster than walking. So I'm just spamming jump in this prologue because we haven't uh, gotten our best uh, ability yet, or like the most used, which is the dash, and the bird tells us to dash. So uh, the game is really confusing in its um, story, so I'm not really going into that. Just play it yourself. It's really touching and deep story, and I really like it. So um, chapter one is Forsaken City. Um, it's a lot of jumping and dashing, and I'm trying to explain these different jumps uh, throughout the run, like now. <laughs> um, we have like a vertical dash, um, uh, like uh, the wall jump, um, which I'm doing like right now, for example. It's just uh, if I'm in range uh, of the wall and uh, I could grab it and I dash up and then I kick off the wall, I do a wall bounce, sending me flying in a vertical way. Um, so the other main dash is the hyper dash. It's the horizontal movement I'm doing, uh, this fast one like here. And um, also bunny hopping is um, preserving the momentum of these dashes. So the uh, uh, preservation of the dashes and the momentum is really um, important, so that's what I'm trying to do here. Also these zippers um, follow a set trail and get triggered when I st grab onto them or I dash. Uh, I'm standing on them. And these uh, crystals, these green ones, they replenish my dash and um, if I lose stamina, which I lose when I grab too long or I uh, dash off the wall too often, I um, yeah, lose stamina and then I can't grab anymore. These are neutral jumps, I'm gonna explain these also later because too much to explain. Um, so, hyper dashes are the main movement, as you maybe saw. Um, the wave dashes, uh, we call them wave dash, um, are like hyper dashes just made out of the air. So, it's the um, same thing. Also, an extended hyper dash or wave dash or whatever dash is um, when I um, like at a, when I do a hyper dash and I um, I jump at the tenth to fifteenth frame of the dash. I get a dash back, so I can use a dash in the uh, in the after my hyper dash. So here we are in chapter 2, it's uh, old side. Um, so these dream blocks, these uh, black blocks with the stars in it, shiny, um, they just extend our dash when we dash through them. And uh, here we have our first main like enemy, if we can call it like that. So. It's Madeline, the uh, bad part of us, because actually we are called Madeline. So also the devs, they didn't really decide that the name should be Madeline, but they also call her Madeline now. 
Um, so good job, Speedrun community. Um, also, she copies our movement in a three second delay. And um, yeah, so we should not stand in, at, in one place for three seconds. Um, Do I have uh, time for a quick donation for you? Yes. Because uh, we just got 20 euros from Leo Luxo saying, Hey, Ralph, oh, Leo Luxo here. Remember when you bought me Celeste? Well, here are the 20 euros I owed you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so with this, uh, we have to hit all these lock switches to open up the, uh, some gates. And we have to do that actually through the, the course of the run, so we're gonna do that a lot. And this last part of chapter two is um, is also really dependent on your movement. It's just like how you can control Madeline, and it's just hyper dashing and also sometimes ultra dashing. And these ultra dashes are just um, cancelling your hyper dash mid air with a down forward uh, dash. So that is chapter two. So I'm actually used to do like small, like 10 second pauses um, dur during like the chapter select because this game is actually in um, in game time. But because we are in the marathon now, uh, and this is like RTA now, <laughs> I have to quickly select all the <laughs> chapters. No reset time for me. So also what you saw there, um, I actually didn't really... I messed it up a little bit. Um, when I uh, go through a transition, I get uh, my dashes back. So that we use there to get the key uh, to open up the door, to not do a whole parkour to get the key. So chapter 3, um, called Celestial Resort, uh, is really um, cycle based because you see these uh, red, red black creatures, dust creatures we call them, also called dust bunnies because some guy called them bunnies and now the whole community calls them bunnies and I don't see the bunny but uh, it doesn't matter <laughs> dust bunnies um, they are on cycles and so every uh, every chapter uh, every room has its own cycles and also when you die you have another cycle so you have to know all the cycles else you just don't know what to do also, when you go out of the room to then re-enter the room, it is the normal cycle again. So, you maybe see me going out of a room to re-enter, but I hope that doesn't happen. So, here we are in the room called Big Mess, because the hotel manager, Oshiro, the ghost man you will see now, um, he wants to run his hotel, but he isn't really, uh, yeah, he can't really do it, so he has a big mess, and we need to help him to clean up his mess. Um, so this um, section is uh, split up into three parts, and here we do a small sp uh, spike jump, called spike jump, like, but it is really a spike jump. We actually, um, we jump off the wall behind the spikes because uh, when we don't um, we don't uh, press in the direction the like if we press in the other direction the spikes are pointing they won't kill us so what I did there is just yeah I that I um, jumped off the spikes um, so yeah this chapter uh, this uh, part of the chapter split up into uh, three parts um, and we hit these switches and then everything gets cleaned up so yeah we cleaned up the crates and the books already the last part is the towels which you can see so here we also 
we get to know Theo and I actually forgot to mention that the main goal of uh, Madeline throughout this game is to climb um, a mountain called Celeste. So uh, Theo is just um, also a climber of the mountain and uh, they get to know each other during the, the, this journey. So yeah, we clean up the three uh, things and we can proceed to the elevator shaft. So that was a, also an ultra dash where I actually uh, got a lot of momentum, but I messed up in the same moment too, so, <laughs> so I could really uh, maybe talk about these strawberries you may be, you may be seeing. Um, these strawberries are just, um, you don't have to collect them, they're just like collectibles for like these uh, players who actually want to do 100%. Um, there is also an, a category, category only for these red berries, there are 175 I think, and uh, so another category is also all red berries. Then we also have a lot of, um, we have all hearts category, there are also other levels than just the main any percent seven chapters, and um, you get um, hearts for them. So when you get all these hearts, you do the all hearts um, category. Yeah. Um, so this last part of this chapter is Oshiro is really angry and he charges at us. So he locks onto our height, like where we are in the uh, on the screen. And then he locks into us and uh, onto us, and then he charges at us. So. Yeah, also with the cycles and very long rooms, this part is not the easiest one, so I'm gonna concentrate now for a little bit. I thought I was dead. So that was chapter 3. That is one of the hardest parts, I think. But I managed to do it pretty good. Sentence. Okay. So, chapter 4 Golden Witch. Uh, we have some new mechanics, um, just like these clouds. When you jump on them, you get launched up. Oops. Uh, Um, then we have these green bubbles, which you can just dash out of, and uh, you just get go in a direction with them. Um, then we have the wind, which is blowing um, at us, so the movement is actually much harder to yeah, go forward or, or in whatever direction the wind comes from. And yeah, that's it for this chapter. Wow. Finally got it. <laughs> Yeah, so to talk again about the, the categories, I talked about the all red berries and all the uh, all the uh, hearts. So if you 
collect all the hearts and all the red berries and complete all the levels you do 100% and there is also a 140% uh, category and that's uh, backtracking a lot so you have to do all the all the uh, chapters again with uh, no uh, death so that's pretty hardcore note that the uh, the re world record for that category is four hours or and a bit I think using the momentum of these uh, these clouds to go really high with a dash jump that's pretty easy yeah, also these platforms I have to grab on them or stand on them to trigger them and then they scroll automatically part where the wind is actually blowing so hard that if I just uh, would walk I couldn't actually get forward so if you would play it yourself you would actually really feel the pressure the wind is uh, making on your body also uh, these uh, yeah white snowballs they are not random they yeah just lock onto your position like Oshiro like your height position and then they yeah they get thrown at you by s something but I <laughs> don't know <laughs> it's really random but um, this game has zero RNG so every mistake is my fault also these uh, yeah these snowballs this, uh, sh appear to be very random but they aren't so I cannot blame RNG for mistakes no bless RNG so that was yeah chapter 4 <laughs> so yeah next chapter is uh, mirror temple the the plot is very confusing here and we're gonna see uh, some parts that are like really questionable but yeah just take it as it, I as it is um these um uh, yeah dash blocks uh, get triggered when i dash and then yeah they follow a set trail Uh, these red bubbles are like the green bubbles in chapter 4, but actually they don't stop, they just go infinitely in a direction until they hit uh, ob an obstacle or if I dash out. And I can decide in which way they are going. What I did there is a reverse dash, you can reverse every dash. And um, yeah, soon there is a big skip, which just uh, which you can do with just a reverse dash jump. But we will get to that a bit later. Here is an intended skip from the devs. 
if you know that there is a, a bubble under that second pillar, you can just go in there without getting a key. So we don't have to collect a key. This um, run is also, it was developed just uh, to speedrun because in the upper left corner you actually see the speedrun cloak in game. So they wanted it uh, to be a speed game and I think they accomplished that pretty good. Because I think it's the most played speed game right now. Um, yeah, this is the confusing part. We are not Madeline now. We are actually a seeker for 30 seconds. I don't know why, but we control it. And we... Yeah, she's dead, but now she's not anymore. And she is awake now. So... You see... Mad uh, battling again, and he's talking a lot. Like, yeah, and we just skip everything. Also, using the momentum of these blocks is really amazing. The, mo uh, the momentum of this game is so interesting. Yeah. So yeah. Also, the seekers are are now our enemy we can bait them into these lo lock switches that's what i did right there and they um yeah they lock not only into our uh, y position but also in our x position so the height and the yeah just where we are in the game um yeah we can jump on their heads to make them go in a state where they like they respawn and then they make a shockwave. So yeah, um, now we get to see the search skip. This is the search uh, um, yeah, section of the game. And we just skip it with oops, by uh, doing a reverse dash jump. Yeah, just skip all these spikes, and then we are we skipped like one minute and thirty seconds. Um, yeah, that's also like I said before, a, like a intended skip. Um, so we actually need to get two keys and uh, to make a, like space to transform um, uh, to transport us in a red bubble to where I skipped but yeah don't need to do that also one of the uh, sections a bit harder um, like Theo is now captured in this crystal and we need to carry him and the seekers still want to uh, make us dead and we can't dash while we carry Theo so we I throw him before uh, like I throw him and then I dash after him to actually take the momentum and then yeah just be faster oops Well, like one, also one of the harder parts, it's because maybe, Roll, do you have anything to say? Because I'm gonna focus now.
So yeah, we hit uh, this eye with the crystal, like the, the crystal Theo was in. Now he's out of there, and your temple is finished. So on to chapter six, called Reflection. Um, we get one new mechanic called the feather. Uh, let us lets us fly, and if the feather is in a bubble like here, we have to dash into it to actually get the feather. Coming out is a leg skip, and I got it first try, and I've never gotten it first try. <laughs> that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> Um, so it actually only skips like two seconds, <laughs> uh, but it's really cool. Uh, so I wanted to show off that. <laughs> um, also, you saw these blocks. We will see them in a bit. Um, yeah, these blocks with the nice sound. Blah, 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 blah. Um, they are called Kevin blocks, uh, like they are actually not called Kevin blocks, but now they are called Kevin blocks because the creator of the sound is called Kevin. Uh, so he tried to make the sound while sticking his head into a bowl of water and then like making this noise. And he actually just made it in another way after that. But that's how we did it on stream. Um, yeah, we use the movement of these blocks like really efficiently because yeah that's how this game works uh, also these pinball um, uh, pinball balls they launch us in the direction we are coming from We don't get to see everything from this chapter because uh, there are actually also like uh, some other ways, but there are just some some rooms we don't see, like two or three. your way through this uh, very intense looking level mind if I uh, chat for a bit yeah it's yeah okay I just wanted to quickly mention that we are raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society uh, which is a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher quality of life for those already battling the disease 95% of your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society the other 5% will be used to help us improve BSG and uh, if you do decide to donate, we still have two more incentives uh, open for you guys. We have the help or don't help the mustache kid in a hat in time. Uh, currently ahead is, I believe, don't help. Uh, let me quickly double check that. Yeah, currently in the lead is don't help with a lead of about 12 euros, sitting at 51 euros and 63 cents, whereas help is at 39 euros and 50 cents. Uh, we also have an incentive still going for wearing two sunglasses in a hat in time, which is currently sitting at 133 euros and 97 cents out of 300. So we still have some ways to go for that one. So yeah, be sure to uh, to check those out. Uh, while we're at it, I also quickly wanted to mention uh, a quick word about our sponsor, ViewSonic, who supports the event with several mon several monitors for the streaming area, as well as several practice monitors, obviously with minimal latency and for speed and accuracy. They simply understand gamers and want to show their support to continue BSG and to spread the love to gamers in Europe. 
And uh, speaking of which, I've been uh, seeing some people play on these monitors uh, today, and they are pretty sweet, I can tell you that. So yeah, definitely uh, an interesting one to look out for. Just, just interrupt me whenever you want to take over, okay? Yeah, gonna take over now. <laughs> cool. So a lot happened. <laughs> um, we are now fighting Madeline in a fight. Uh, she's just charging lasers and uh, these uh, red plasma things balls at us. And um, yeah, we just have to hit her and then we proceed through the level. Um, also with the best music of the game, I think. Hey, yeah, in the chat, please. Thanks. Um, so... Um, what I... Uh, at the start of the fight, I wanted to do a thing called Battling Boost, where we get a lot of uh, momentum of a cavern block, and then we just uh, we go with the uh, fastest momentum, uh, like we we do in the any percent speedrun uh, to the fight. But I mess it up a bit. Um, so. Yeah, uh, bat yeah, like the battling fight is split up into two parts. Like that was the first part. Now she's talking to us again, but yeah. Um, so second part, uh, music is even more intense, and I like it even more. And she has now this uh, powers to move blocks, but they also help us because moving blocks make momentum, and we use that a lot. So. So yeah, we defeated Badlin and she is now in our team. And maybe you've noticed something a bit odd. We have two dashes now and pink hair if we have the two dashes. Red hair if we have the w if one dash is left and uh, blue hair if no dash is left. And Badlin helps us now and actually throws us up this corridor. So yeah, the st I'm not going to talk about the story, but yeah, we are in a team with Badlin now, so the two dashes will help us a lot. And um, yeah, that's now the last chapter, the summit. Um, we actually got knocked off um, the mountain a bit, and now uh, this section actually looks like reflection. And that has a reason, because we actually, if I go through this part of the chapter, you will see it yourself. Yeah, Badlin helping us again. Always the last, uh, final screen of the uh, uh, of that section. So now you see 500 meter because the reflection part was at zero meter uh, meters. So yeah, we are again in uh, the first chapter. Uh, we have the same mechanics as in the first chapter. Just just everything with the uh, two dashes, which actually shows how these mechanics also work if you have two dashes which yeah it it really changes up the game uh for this uh yeah part so 
So after the effort to climb the mountain, we get knocked off and we do it in a faster way after we got the few dashes. So yeah, we are back in old side with the dream blocks. And yeah, that's maybe why the dream blocks are my favorite uh, mechanic. It's just so satisfying to go through them with the sound and everything. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, and it replenishes our two dashes. After we go out of them, so... can actually also uh, hyper dash out of the dream blocks but I can't do it <laughs> so here we have the cycles again maybe you can imagine that not it's still hard <laughs> and with two dashes and yeah long rooms it's still not the easiest part oh wow yeah so here you see me go out of the room to refresh the the the, the room the cycle Also the changes in the music are really smooth and I really like the music. I hope you like it too, it's just so relaxing. <laughs> Snowballs which come out of nowhere and want to kill us. Uh, here I tried to do the auto scroller skip. So as I mentioned, these platforms they come with an auto scrolling, and we just skip that. Also in this uh, part of the game, with the uh, also with the wind and everything, uh, it really is important to get to control Madeline in a good way, that you don't land up in spikes or whatever to yeah maneuver yourself through these little uh, yeah places uh, spaces and everything. Two thousand five hundred meters. Wow.
coming up uh, is a spike jump again, got it. Uh, giving us the opportunity to get the this key, as we would have to go down and then get the key. Oops. Also, I'm a Mima. Hey, first try. So, this was a door skip. Um, it was a meme <laughs> because it was uh, actually not re so reliable to do it in runs. But after they fixed something, this got also much easier to do. Uh, but it's still not easy, so I'm actually happy to get us to. But I got it first try too. So here we are at the summit. Uh, the you maybe saw the flag number. This is 29. So going down from now, and there is um, yeah something at the number one flag, and can't imagine what it is. But uh, we ca we see the uh, the wind coming from um, above us. Um, so this is the downdraft. It's really hard to jump, and also we just get pushed down. It's really uh, yeah. You also feel the pressure from above uh, when you play it yourself. So yeah, you see. <laughs> She doesn't want to jump uh, as high as I'm used to. Okay, so now it's from below. We have the updraft. The uh, jumps are much higher. We yeah, we just have much more airtime and uh, yeah, making the game like you have to maneuver Madeline and yeah. Wait, I got that. I got that flag, and I don't know how. Okay. <laughs> Nine flags to go. Yeah, we also uh, skip flag number eight because it's not hard. Oh, it, it is hard. I <laughs> wow, <laughs> best timing. Wow. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be hard, and you shouldn't die. So we skip some flags, and yeah.
time. <laughs> so, yeah, this was the Celeste any percent uh, category, uh, run, my run for yeah this category at this PSG. I hope you understood what I tried to explain to you. It was re a lot, and I yeah tried my best. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, that's it for me, I guess. Thanks for having me. So just before you go off completely, out of curiosity, the Pico 8 thing. Ah, yeah, sure. I forgot. <laughs> we, yeah, so... Uh, I'm doing that, yeah. Yeah. So we'll still get to see the Pico 8 thing, because uh, that incentive did get met. So uh, we'll see a little bit more of Celeste, I think, in just a moment, if I'm not mistaken, uh, before we move on to, uh, to another... Uh, uh, I believe it's Rockman ZX, but I could be wrong. Um, immediately after, yeah. Ro oh, sorry, Rockman Zero. Immediately after. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's see that. So yeah, here are my stats. Um, Fifty-nine deaths is okay. My PB is a forty. Uh, minutes and 30 seconds so I'm actually pretty hyped that I'm so close to it at a marathon so um, yeah um, so yeah what I completely forgot <laughs> is the incentive Pico 8 and yeah it's the Celeste was made in a game jam and this is what ooh, this is what they did in like the four days they did uh, the game and yeah out of this we that yeah became yeah this became celeste that i just ran and yeah <laughs> i think it's <laughs> really funny that they did this as a, a small like a mini game and yeah it's just uh, classic Celeste uh, that was made in uh, 2015 and the normal Celeste uh, like normal uh, the other Celeste was um, came out this year in uh, like the early month something I don't know exactly now Yeah, this is peak oid. That's what you donated for. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I like the other old side more, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I actually didn't practice. Uh, I practiced like five runs and it's not really long, so. <laughs> So actually quite impressive that they made Celeste out of this game jam <laughs> and <laughs> and they yeah pushed the boundaries I guess of this little game and made an awesome game out of it. Oh. So can do it. Oh, <laughs> uh, the movement is so weird. Oh. <laughs> You press up or whatever, and it just doesn't recognize it. I like it.
We are at the reflection, yay. This is the reflection of the classic. Yeah. Yeah, so two dashes now, yay. Not pink here, but green here. <laughs> That's not what I pressed. <laughs> I swear. Oh. never looked up a run of this so I found out that there you can just skip a thing but yeah that was it that's be great for you <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> you don't donated for this one um, yeah I didn't get the berries or something I never looked up a run I just made it this root up myself it's the normal route I think so yeah I hope you enjoyed it okay thank you